Okay, this is a WiseApp tutorial video um, walking you through the demo that we have set up so that you can um, see how to enter in students and, and classes and courses and scan a couple tests. Um, before you begin the demo, you're going to need to make sure that you have printed off the WiseApp tutorial pages which are located in the store. Um, and you can either print them directly if you have AirPrint set up or you can email them to yourself and print them off there. Um, so make sure you have those printed out and ready to go. At the top of the page, once you have those printed out, um, you can see that our general setup that we're going to do for this tutorial is that the course will be called Test Course. Our class is going to be called Test Class. Um, the course ID will be TC1 and the class ID will be 710. Um, the test description, when we actually want to add a um, a description for what test we're using. Um, we're going to call that sample test 1 and the test I ID is going to be 110A and the two students we're going to enter in will be John Doe and Jane Doe. Um, so step 1, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a course. So from the home screen the first thing you're going to do is enter the organizer and you're going to select manage courses and you're going to pick new course. So for the course ID we're gonna enter our chosen ID which is TC1 and for the course name we're gonna enter in test course. Um, you can go ahead and hit return down here and then we'll click save and that's how we created our first course. For step two we're going to create a class, so we're going to go ahead and hit back, and we're going to go into manage classes now, and we're going to go ahead and click new class. The class ID is what we have up top, that's going to be 710, and the class name that we're going to go with is just test class. Um, then what we want to do next is go ahead and click where, right here where it says uncategorized um, and we're going to say that this class falls under our test course um, category. So we'll click that or move that and then go ahead and hit done. Um, and we'll hit return down here and then we're going to save this new class that we created. So there's our test class 710 and it's a part of our test course. For step three, we're going to enter in students, so make sure that you have your, stu your two student entry pages filled in, um, and those are automatically filled in by Jane Doe and John Doe, um, and it'll say Wise General Purpose Student Sheet at the top, um, so make sure you have those in front of you. Um, we're going to go ahead and go back to the home screen, so you can hit back and back one more time. Um, and now that we're in the home screen, um, to enter in students with these scan sheets, you actually just go ahead and hit scan test. And you'll see the live screen pop up here. Make sure that it's aligned in that green dotted box and focused in, and then we'll hit the green check mark. And we can see that John Doe with this ID number is going to go into test class 710, and that's exactly what we want. Um, if for some reason you get a bad scan or it didn't pick it up, you can hit the X here and delete the test and rescan it, but we're good with this, so we're going to go ahead and hit the green check mark. And we've got Jane's test here, make sure it focuses, and then we'll hit the green check mark again. And we can see Jane Doe with this ID number is going to go into test class 710 again, so that's good. Um, so we'll hit the green check mark there. Okay. Um, the next thing we're going to do is actually scan in our key so that we can actually start scoring some tests. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and go back. So what you can see here is that we've got both of our students entered in. We've got our one class here, and we have zero tests scanned in. So from here, we're going to go into scan keys. Um, and we're going to do new scan key. So make sure you've got your key for the exam. It'll say key under the name. 
and notice that we have test ID 110A, that was what we had picked filled in there. So we'll go ahead and make sure it's aligned and um, focused and we'll hit the green check mark. And we've got test 110A here. Uh, we can see that we've got 75 results, zero ignored responses, which means that it accurately read all of the answers. Um, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and click here where it says it's uncategorized. And we're going to click that one more time here. And we're going to say that this falls under test course one also. And we'll hit done and save. And then under the description, what we had up, to, up at the top is we're just going to call this sample test one. So this sort of just gives us a little bit more of an in-depth description about what it is instead of just looking at the test ID. So this is sample test one, um, and it looks like everything scanned in correctly here. So we're just going to go ahead and hit the green check mark. So there's our key right there. Now we're ready to scan in a couple tests, so we're going to go ahead and click back, and we're in the home screen, and we're going to go back into scan test. So we've got our bubbled in student exams, they have the correct test ID bubbled in here and their ID number filled in here. So once it's focused in, we'll go ahead and hit the green check mark. And it's going to process that test. This is our largest exam form, the 100 question test. So we can see that John got a 96%, he missed three questions. Um, if for some reason you want to look at his test, you can do the preview and that will show you the overall scan. Or you can go into the results and look at individual questions and you can scroll down um, and eventually see, um, you can see almost all the answers you got were right, but the first one that you missed was number 26 because he said C and the actual answer was E. Um, but if we're good with that, we're just going to go back up to the top and we're going to click the green check mark. And then now we'll scan Jane's test in. Again, she's got the correct test ID here and her own student ID bubbled in. And once it's focused, we'll hit the green check mark. It's going to process her 100 question exam. And Jane got an 89.3. Um, again, if you wanted to look at her specific results, you could click on any of these. Um, no ignored responses means that all the answers were read correctly. Um, and her exam looks good. It looks like it was scanned correctly, so we're going to go ahead and hit the green check mark. Um, now you're done scanning the tests in, so if you want to actually go back and look at the student scores, we'll hit back here. So you can see that we've got our two tests scanned in here, so now if you want to look at their actual scores, we'll go into the scores area here, and we're going to click on the course and the class that we want to look at, which is test class. And this sort of brings us to our um, exam dashboard area. It tells us the average, the minimum, the maximum, um, how many students. Sample test one is the test we're looking at. If you want to look at um, Jane or John's actual tests again, you can click their name. And that just brings us back to this scan screen where you can look at the preview of their whole test or you can look at the individual results um, again and if you want to see their specific responses. Um, if you want to delete the test for any reason, you can hit the X button here and delete it out. Um, or if you are fine with this, you can either hit back or the check mark and I'll just bring you back to the previous screen. Um, once you have multiple exams scored in, um, these two arrows here are going to be how you're going to navigate between what test you're looking at. So if you have multiple tests in that class, you hit the arrows and that'll bring you to a different test. But we don't we only have one scanned in right now, so we'll leave that alone. If you would like to look at a little bit more in-depth analysis, you click on the pie chart in the top right. And what that's going to do is um, generate a report, an individual report for each student. And you can see that we've got, um, so this one, um, we've, the green check mark tells us what the correct answer is. The X tells you what the wrong answer that the student selected was, and these are the question numbers. Um, this is test 110, and if we scroll over to the right a little bit, we can see that we've got for Jane, um, she got a 67 out of 75, that's her percentage, class average was a 92, 
And then this tells us sort of the most frequently missed questions and the most frequently correct questions, um, just for a little bit more in-depth analysis of that um, test. Um, at that point, um, that will complete the tutorial. It shows you how to enter in a course, a class, it tells you how to enter students, scanning keys and scanning tests, and examining the scores. Um, if you want to delete any of this stuff out of, out of your app, you can do that, or you can just leave them in there to look at um, for another time. If you have any further questions or um, any suggestions for us, please feel free to contact us at thewiseapp.com or email us at thewiseapp at gmail.com. Thanks a lot.